morning guys it's rachel here today i'm going to record for you my june plan with me video and show you how i plan my writing for the month i know i haven't put up a plan with me video for the last couple of months but that's because in april i did actually record a video but time just got away from me so by the time i was getting around to editing it it was over halfway through the month so i thought you know it was a bit pointless putting it up um, and then May, I just never got to it. So uh, even today's, even the one for June is um, a little bit late, but only about a couple of days. So uh, yeah, so if you want to watch me um, this month, I'm going to do kind of like a sea beach theme um, and I'm going to use stickers. Let me show you how I set that up. All right, guys, so as I said, I'm going to do a summer beachy theme and I found these um, mermaid pictures that I wanted to have as my cover page. I also found and made these stickers on my Cricut um, yesterday. And then these are all my tracker headings. I know previously I've drawn the images and decorated it by hand. But in April, in the one I didn't post, I actually did a Harry Potter theme um, because I just finished reading all seven books and I really enjoyed that. So I wanted to do another sticker theme uh, this time. So me and my Cricut had some fun yesterday. So I'm hoping this will fit on. I've already um, put in the tab for June. And again, these I made with my Cricut yesterday. So that's my cover page, a lot faster than drawing it myself. So this page, I'm not doing a calendar as such because I have one of those in my happy planner. You'll have to excuse me if I sound all bunged up, I actually have a cold um, and I'm sucking on a cough sweet so I don't cough all the way through this. But as I was saying, I don't do like a traditional calendar. I did that once and finally wasn't using it. So what I do is a writing calendar um, and I break that down into the the days um, and I'll, I'll show you, I'll just draw that now. There you go, so I couldn't decide which pens I wanted to use because you know me, I have to do a drop shadow. And this, I'll probably use this one, the uh, Tombow Jewel Brush. It's 373, if you can see, it's a white one off. This is like um, my favourite colour. I always love to give a drop shadow. So this is my June word count tracker. I 
what do we think? I think coffee. That tends to be writer fuel, doesn't it? Well, I think that's more like a frappuccino. Yeah, so when I work out my word counts, I first will go through oops, um, how many writing days I actually have for the month. So I just need to put the days in. Oops. So as a rule, I try to take every Sunday off. It doesn't always happen, but that's my goal. And then, um, this was a trick from my co-author, said always schedule in um, at least three emergency writing days when you're counting out. So obviously if I've taken four days out, that leaves me 26 writing days. And if I take off um, another three, that leaves me tw with 23 writing days. And obviously we're on Wednesday because I'm recording this, obviously the day before I upload it. So that leaves me 22 writing days, including today. So I should just... Write that up here. Now my goal for June is to reach 76,000 words. So for me, what that means is working out how many words per day I need to write for. So we have Alexa for that. Alexa, 76,000 divided by 22. 76,000 divided by 22 is approximately 3,454.5455. So that means every day for June, I need to write 3,454 words. And I'll track those in here to see how I go. Obviously some days I might write more than that, some days I might write less, but that should get me to my 76,000 word goal for the end of the month. The next tracker I want to do is a sprint tracker and this directly relates to this word count tracker because I write in sprints. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of the Pomodoro method, but basically it is writing in a set amount of time um, in what we call sprints. So I tend to write for 20 minutes at a time. I set a timer and um, I don't do anything else but write in those 20 minutes. So I like to track my sprints to see how I'm doing. So that's going to be this next one. Yeah, so this one's going to be my sprint tracker. And we're just going to decorate this one with a little bit of a shark. So for this, I take my 6,000 words. Again. And my 3,454 words per day. So I write in 20 minute sprints, like I've said, and in those 20 minute sprints, I can usually get over a thousand words, but sometimes I'm a little bit slower. So I average it out 800 words to be on the safe side. And if I get more, it's a bonus. So I work out how many sprints per day I need to get. So Alexa, 3,454 divided by 800. 3,454 divided by 800 is 4.3175. So that's four sprints, 4.3 sprints a day. So I'll put that at five sprints per day. But in brackets, I'll write the four because like I said, I don't always write the 800 words. Quite often I get a lot higher than that. So 
I should be able to get that in three sprints. I'm sorry, in four sprints. And then what I also do is work out how many sprints to reach this goal. So Alexa, 76,000 divided by 800. 76,000 divided by 800 is 95. So that's, so this goal is 95 sprints to reach my word goal. So I will literally just come down here and write my sprints out. So there you go, that's all 95 sprints set out for the month of June. And then what I'll do every day is I'll do this across here. And obviously it's the second as I'm filming this. So I'll write the second there. And then today I'll go after filming this, I'll go and do my five sprints. And then tomorrow I'll underscore wherever I'm up to, write the date. And I, I just like to keep track of what I'm writing but this is like breaking it down into proper bite sizes so it's a lot easier to say right I'm going to do five sprints today than it is to say I'm going to write 3400 words because if I know I'm going to check off five sprints I can dot those throughout the day and throughout whatever I'm doing and it just makes it easier for me and I can still get this big word count and be productive without feeling like I'm climbing or facing this mountain. It's just easier for me. Maybe you have some different um, hints and tips to get yourself to zero to your word goal. If you do let me know, I'll be, I, I love seeing other people's processes. Okay, so my next thing I want to do is my habit tracker. And this is probably one of the problems I had in May. I totally, I fell out with all my habits, kind of lost myself and didn't keep up with them, um, which is never a good thing. I'm just going to underline this with a little bit of washi tape. I think we've got anchors on. So I always start my numbering backwards because you can guarantee I pick the wrong spot and run out of space. So for this month I want to track my writing, my reading, morning pages, eating me time bed at a decent time awake at a decent time I don't really have a lot on my habit track, mostly because I don't want to overwhelm myself. Obviously I want to write every day and I want to read every day um, and I want to do the morning pages and those three are probably the most important thing for me. And then I want to um, eat properly because it's so easy when you're working really hard to just eat junk food. So this is like a reminder to myself to eat properly. Um, and then some me time because when you're working from home it's so easy to work from the time you get up to the time you go to sleep and that's not really healthy for your mental health so this is just a reminder for myself just to take some me time whether it's um playing a game in the evening doing a jigsaw 
watching a movie or something like that. It's just for me to make sure I take some time for myself. And then obviously going to bed at a proper time, being awake at a proper time, is so that I can keep to a structure for my days. I also like to track various stats on here. So that would be things like um, this channel and how it's doing and how many videos I put out. I track my Facebook page, my Facebook group page, things like that as well. I'll, I'll fill all those in later with the numbers. And one of the other trackers I have that is not on here is this running log because that is something else um, entirely. I can get it off the paper. Yep, so this is my running log and um, I track this separately because I like to track some stats because obviously I'm trying to improve in my running. So on this I'll track the date I ran. The distance. And what my pace was. If you're not a runner this stuff probably doesn't mean anything to you. But I can just track how I'm improving, you know, how if I'm doing like just a mile, if I can do that mile a bit faster. So on this one, this is where I'm going to list everything I want to achieve in the month of June. It's not exactly a goal as such. It's more of these are the projects that I want to get completed or to get to a certain point with them. I've got to put stickers on here. Yeah, so this is my June to do and it's not goals this is it's the last month of the second quarter so this is projects to and tasks to get to my overall goal I have for quarter two so these are things like write 76,000 words on the book I'm writing at the moment Plot and plan the course Mason and I are writing. I also want to read one craft book. And I'll fill this in um, later because there's loads of tasks and it'd be quite boring. But it's various things I want to do, like I'm taking a facebook ads course at the moment so this goes in here how far i want to get onto it this month and um, so i'll just put my list and then after that i'm going to shove this on the other side because it's just a nice little blank page i don't want to break her She's going to go in here. You know, I put personal goals in here, you know, like um, lose six pounds, run a certain distance, but like I say, I'll fill that in later. And that just leaves me to my weeklies. So I've already printed these off. So what I will do here is I have my weekly to do's. week commencing and if and that was the 31st of May it was Monday
But for some reason, my Cricut put this in two pieces. Three, actually. It's cut in a... Oops. Stick this down without making too much of a pig's ear of it. No, 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 no. I don't know what happened to my glass there, but never mind. So, yeah, and I'll pretty much do the same as I did for the June to do. I'll go, I'll revert, refer to this one. So, I've got an easy one is that lose six pounds. So, I want to lose one and a half pounds this week I also want to upload a video which if you're watching this one I've managed to take that off my list I also want to write a quarter of that Alexa 76 divided by 4 76 divided by 4 is 19. So that's 19,000 words this week. I also want to... do the ads course and I know I am up to module 4. <coughs> I want to... research my own website because I don't have one yet um, so I need to get that up so I need to look at providers so later I'll just go through and I'll add things to this and to that list and try and knock these off this week and I'll just write notes I don't particularly set it out day to day in here because I have a separate planner um, that has my daily stuff in where I'll break things down even more so this will just be used to track um what i'm doing every week so like tonight i will mark off what i've crossed off and then transfer into my other planner what i need to do tomorrow to get to these and it works out that if you track back through everything my daily planner will then feed into the weekly planner which will then feed into the week the monthly planner and then um, that feeds into my quarterly plan plans, which I will show you next month when I set it up for Q3. So yeah, so um, and normally I will do a YouTube spread of what YouTube videos I'm going to do, but I did one of those way back in April in the spread that I never uploaded onto YouTube, um, and I never filled it in. So I'm not going to waste this page, I'm going to use it. As you can see, it's a different theme. I did Harry Potter, um, but I've got this to brainstorm YouTube ideas and just make notes or anything I need. So yeah, so this is my June. I'll probably put a quote on here or something just to not have it blank. I hate blank. I love at the end when these bullet journals are filled in to just flip through. And this is why I love them so to do like this to do it by hand because it just and and they're not like if you watch i watch a lot of bullet ju i watch a lot of bullet journal videos and they're all beautiful and really artsy and i used to let that kind of hold me back into not doing these because i couldn't draw as good as those and then i thought well, no because this is mine so you know it's all by hand it's not the neatest thing but it's mine and when i look back at this later I've got all this that I did and for me that makes it a bit more authentic so yeah so anyway so there's the cover page for June and this is my word count goal tracker which I will fill in daily as to what I write um I need to fill in yesterday's number and today hopefully I'll get like 3454 words and this is my sprint tracker which I'll fill in as I go And then my habit tracker, more trackers will be on here. It's my running log. And my June to do. There you have it.